start. Coach, you want to make a comment, and then we'll go uh, we'll open it up. It's God be the glory. Uh, giving all praises and glory to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I, I, uh, you know, we've been playing good defense uh, just about every time we stepped on the court from the exhibition game at Adrian to playing uh, Howard. Uh, and, and tonight, I thought in the second half, the last, uh, probably the last three minutes of the first half, we went on, I think it was a 14-3 a, a run, something like that. We built a 10-point lead, and then you know, they hit a few buckets uh, in, in the second half to start it out. They cut it to, I think, maybe six, uh, five, it was a five. And then uh, Scott Thomas, I think, hit a big three. And uh, our defense picked up, and we ended up holding them to 30 percent shooting in the second half. And uh, I thought we did a really good job defensively after that point. But uh, it was a team win. I thought uh, Danny and Cam and got us off to a great start and George ball pressure. Uh, and then I thought uh, Joe gave us a huge lift. I thought Joe had a great game. And perfect line. Five for five from the field, two for two from three, eight assists, no turnovers. Uh, you know, I, I was proud of him. And, you know, he, uh, he gave us a huge lift. Our, our, our entire bench gave us a big lift. But it was good to see the ball go in the basket. You know, it's been it's been, it's been a little bit of a struggle, but uh, it was good to see our guys uh, shoot the ball. And when we execute, when we get to the third and fourth options of our offense, good things happen. Uh, and sometimes we, we rush, we're impatient. But when we execute and get to the, the options down the, the third and fourth option, uh, we're a better offensive team. You guys got questions? Coach, would you start us out talking a little bit about the lineup changes? What what prompted those? What were you looking for there? Well, I I thought uh, really uh, two of the guys I inserted, Danny uh, and Luke. I, I just I thought they played with. Uh, I thought Danny played with great desire, and uh, really is is developing into one of our leaders. Uh, you know, when you see guys diving on the ground for loose balls and uh, playing extremely hard, uh, I thought Danny gave great effort and played with great passion at Howard. I think that's something we need, no question. And then uh, Luke, uh, he's just so good a defender on the ball. Uh, you know, I, I, I like his toughness and his passion. And then as far as Jordan, uh, we want to try to up tempo the game, you know, increase the pace, try to get some easy baskets. And uh, my challenge is for our upperclassmen, Joe and, and uh, Dee and Scott, those guys need to be more productive. They need to play better. And uh, they're capable of it. But uh, I, I, I spoke at the beginning of the year. I said that uh, all spots were open. I don't know if y'all remember that. I said it's a competitive environment. And, uh, you know, the guys that are the most productive and uh, get things done, you know, starting lineup is it, it, no given. So uh, I think we have to do that with a, with a team, a young team that's still kind of in the growth stage, still growing. You know, we, we have to make it as competitive uh, as we can. And we got to reward guys like Danny for for the hard work they put in. Danny, will you talk a little bit about finding out you were in the starting lineup and then your reaction to it and what, what you tried to do with the start? Uh, finding out I was in the starting lineup, of course, it was uh, it was a joy. It was uh, something I've been working towards. But with the team we had this year, who starts the game really doesn't matter because we need everybody. We all play as a team. And Everything we do, we're going to win and lose as a team. So whoever starts the game, that really doesn't matter to a lot of the guys on the team. But like I said, finding out the start in the game, that's really, it was big the first game I ever started in. So it was a joy. Coach, you 
when you talked a little bit about the start you got off to, I mean, you got some scores early on that gave, got things rolling for the team. Oh, I mean, I just did exactly what the coaches was telling me to do all week in practice, uh, duck in hard, play physical with these guys, and get uh, post touches, get paint touches, play close to the basket, play strong. Uh, coach wants everybody to play defense, and if you don't play much defense, you're not going to get into the game. Talk about uh, the defense tonight from your perspective, how you think you did and how the team did against uh, uh, ODU. Well, this team we had this year, uh, we're kind of hanging our hat on defense. That's uh, one of our strong points. So defense is a really big thing, and the tonight defense, we did, I mean, we did okay. The first half, we started off slow. We uh, the other team, they shot a high shooting percentage in the first half, but we turned it up. We uh, got on the horse and started playing good defense. So, I mean, overall, I think we played good defense for the game, but we got to pick it up and get into a fast start and jump on them like we normally do. Coach, will you talk a little bit about that early second half run? You, you mentioned the Thomas three-pointer that got it rolling, but you, know, you scored 19 uh, straight. I mean, that. Yeah, the offense is part of it, but it looked like really it was the defense that was carrying it there. No, no, uh, you're right. Uh, uh, I remember, I think after the Asian game, you mentioned uh, we had we forced 24 turnovers and we only scored 16 points. You know, if you look at it today, we forced 23 turnovers and we scored 30 points off those turnovers. So we were able to get in transition, uh, our points in the paint. 36 on second chance points, 14. Our fast break points, 14. Our bench scoring, 38. So uh, we did. We fed off our defense. Uh, I think uh, you know one of the things that we we wanted to do. Uh, the young man Aaron Gibbs. We knew he was a tough matchup. He was a lead scorer. He was an undersized, really a post guy. He's a tough cover, uh, but we wanted to double team him in the post every time he got the ball. Uh, and, you know, that was a big part of the game plan. Our guys did a great job. Uh, and then in the second half, the other post guy was hurting us, and we started double teaming him in the post. So those are things that are part of uh, our fundamentals, our, our disciplines uh, that we've uh, worked on all year. And to see how well it was executed, uh, I think it really helped us. And then the ball pressure, again, I can't say enough. Uh, for Jordan's ball pressure to start the game. I mean, that's a, a big part of what he gives us. Uh, you know, he, he puts great pressure on the ball. He just has to be smart and not pick up uh, early fouls. Uh, just be smart with the pressure. Jen, talk about the, uh, after going through a couple of the exhibition and then Howard, you got struggling with the ball in the basket. What was the feeling during that 19 0 run when you guys were seeing your hitting every shot on this? Felt like finally clicking. Uh, all the shots we get up in practice, all the work the bigs do, the guards working hard. <clears throat> it was just a matter of time before shots start falling. Like I said, we hang our hat on defense, so we all knew it was coming sooner or later, and tonight it happened. You guys good? All righty. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.